Good morning, viewers. Today we are working on my personal 2006 Nissan Frontier SE Crew Cab. Uh, today we are doing a differential breather kit, uh, commonly called the Diff Breather Mod on all the groups on Facebook and whatnot. Uh, this is a super simple modification. All you're doing is you're taking the stock breather off of the axle and you're moving the inlets to the headlamp housing or somewhere underneath the bed where when you cross into some water you don't drown it and suck water into your differential. Uh, it also will help with keeping your stock filter which is a pretty fairly crappy design from getting clogged. Now, once it becomes clogged you end up building pressure up in the axles and you blow out your seals. This truck has 227,000 miles on it right now. So I'm putting the diff breather on. Does this truck necessarily need it? No, not for what I use it for. I'm doing it anyway because even a two wheel drive truck, you, uh, people still have problems with the axle uh, seals getting blown. So I ordered my, I ordered my kit from prgproducts.com. Now Greg over there at PRG Products is pretty much a one man show from my understanding. He is an awesome guy, We're full of knowledge, uh, great customer service, uh, and uh, I've bought a lot of products from him in the past and I plan on continuing to do so, including my engine mounts which have been amazing. So. How this kit works is you're going to get some hose. Uh, you can buy your own hose if you really want to, or you can, you know, get the hose he supplies. You're go it's going to come with a new uh, uh, fitting for where the current breather is. You're just going to unscrew that one, screw this one in, plug it into your hose, run your hose up. I bought a little extra hose so I could run it where I want it to. And get yourself a little adapter from O'Reilly's or AutoZone, whoever. Uh, it's going to have some zip ties so you can do some, you know, hose management, make it look good. And, of course, your filter uh, to put up top. So that's what we're doing. Now, if you hang tight, grab a beer or soda or a glass of milk, whatever you got to do. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, first things first, I like to get the hard part out of the way. I'm not gonna call any part of this hard, but I like to, let me rephrase, get the hardest part out of the way first. I'm gonna go under the truck. This is in front of the passenger side rear tire. Zoom in. And right here next to your shock, that bad boy right there, that's your breather, your stock breather. We're gonna just take that off with your 14 millimeter. Okay, and that's your breather. Okay, once your old one's up, you just put your new one back in its place. Okay, and once you're tight, that's what she looks like. Just a little stub out. I'm gonna put your hose and you're gonna route it wherever you can to make it look good. For me, I already have my CB antenna and everything coming out of the tail light housing. I'm going to go ahead and add the diff breather in as well. So you're just gonna pop these two bolts off right here, 10 millimeters or Phillips. Just take those two bolts off. And you're just going to pop your housing out, set it aside, and leave it there for the moment. So now all we're going to do is we're going to slide our hose down with the electrical. It's typically easier to send things down than up for gravity. Then you're going to route this hose to however you want it. Now keep in mind you're going to need some slack so that as your differential rises and falls your axle, your hose has room to move with it. 
Uh, I have an Alkin 10 leaf pack or 9 leaf, whatever the heck it is, on my frontier right here with a lot of ex, uh, extra travel, so I need to leave quite a bit of extra slack. So I just went over the cross member that holds the spare tire on over this cross member over here, and I'm just going to plug the hose straight on the barb fitting. We'll hose clamp that down momentarily. Uh, and then what I'm going to do after I hose clamp that down is run enough of this tube hose that when I lift my truck minus the differential, there's enough slack right here that uh, it won't rip off if my axle falls farther than the hose can reach. So that's my next step is lifting the truck. Now that we have ourselves up on some jack stands, we are at full droop, tires off the ground. Uh, we know that we do have enough play with the hose and yet not too much. And I remember we said this was worst case scenario at full droop. So we're not going to make the hose tight, but we are going to make it so there's not really any extra play because now when we are compressed, there's gonna be quite a bit of extra play. Now we are going to take the truck off the jack stands and lower it back down and make sure that all of our extra play does not get in the way of anything. Okay, we are now fully collapsed. This is our hose. It collapsed just fine. There's nothing in the way. It's all groovy. Okay, so we're gonna connect Oh, that's with the hose barb. Put it in a position you can get to it now and again later. Push this down. I'm gonna tighten it up. Again, there's no pressure on this hose. You don't have to go all Hulk style and crazy cinch the heck out of this thing. Just tight enough that it's not gonna come off, all right? Plenty good enough. Now we're going to pull our extra slack up through the tail light housing. These are my ground and cable for my CB radio. Don't... So we're going to cut this a little bit long. that on slide your filter on whatever you've got move your clamp back up to wherever it feels good tighten it again again you don't need to go all Hulk style just tighten it till it's tight man don't overthink it right about there so now as you're driving along your axle can vent way up here, your differential, whatever. If you go through water down there, uh, where the old breather was, it's just gonna splash. You're still gonna get dry air from up here in your taillight housing. Very handy contra contraption. Now, we do want to make sure that this doesn't fall down. Something just like that. Come over here. Put your two bolts back on. All right, one more project in the books. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up so that I know I'm doing it right. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. I do projects to my own vehicles, other people's vehicles, my houses, other people's houses. 
Uh, just trying to do some how-tos for you guys. Nothing that I wouldn't be doing already, just stuff I'm doing, so I decided to film for you. Uh, until the next video, enjoy yourself.